Hi guys, happy Thursday. Um, today we're reading a fun little book called Little Taco Truck. I'm excited to read this one with you guys. It's just really cute and kind of fun, and so I'm excited to share it with you. In a busy corner of the big city, new buildings began to rise. In each day, Little Taco Truck loved serving up tasty tacos to the hungry workers on Union Street. But one day, when Little Taco Truck arrived, he was surprised to see another truck parked in his spot. Hola, Miss Fall. Fall. Little Taco Truck tried to send out the word on the side of the other truck. Falafel, she said, smiling. Are you lost? he asked. Oh, no, Miss Falafel said. I'm here to serve delicious falafel sandwiches. The smell of her fresh-baked pita bread and crunchy chickpea fritters floated through the air. Little Taco Truck's engine rumbled. He knew he should share his street. But what if people love falafel more than tacos, he worried. He secretly hoped Miss Falafel would find a street of her own the next day. But the next day, Miss Falafel was parked in his space again. And she had brought friends. Taco Truck crept down the street looking for a place to park. Get your gumbo, whomped Jumbo Gumbo. Gumbo? Little Taco Truck shouted. Of course, Jumbo Gumbo said. Only a big truck like me can handle the big flavor of spicy Cajun seafood stew. Little Taco Truck's tires sagged. How will people even see a little truck like me next to all these big trucks, he worried. If you need a place to park, Jumbo Gumbo shouted, look behind Annie. Little Taco Truck inched up the street toward a brand new bright yellow truck. Are you Annie, he asked. I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. Annie's air press, she said, sparkling in sunlight sunlight. Everyone loves my warm cornbread sandwiches. Little Taco Truck sighed. What if no one notices me next to a shiny new truck like Annie? The next day, even more food trucks lined Union Street. Little Taco Truck Little Taco Truck tried to squeeze into the tiny space when Bump. Ouch! A big pink truck shouted. Oh, I'm sorry, Little Taco Truck said. The street is so crowded with falafel and gumbo and arapas and... Hello, gelato? He read the side of the truck. Fantastico, Hello, gelato said. No, not fantastic, Little Taco Truck cried. Little Taco Truck swished his wipers to hide his tears as he drove away. On his way home, he hatched a plan. If I get to the city first, he thought, no one can take my parking spot. So in the dark of night, Little Taco Truck returned to the quiet city, parked in his favorite spot, and fell sound asleep. In the bright of the day, he was startled awake as the other trucks arrived. Working up his courage, Little Taco Truck blinked his lights, puffed up his tires, and said, This is my spot! I'm sorry we didn't make room for you yesterday, Little Taco Truck, said Miss Falafel. Me too, said Annie. We can all fit if we squeeze. I can move my tables onto the sidewalk. And I can move my signs out of the way, Jumbo Gumbo shouted. Hello, Gelato cheered when he arrived. You found the perfect spot. I did, Little Taco Truck happily tooted his horn. It was right here all along. And when Oodles of Noodles arrived the next day, they made room for her too. 
So I like the end of this because they have a little glossary and it tells you about each of the little foods. Um, I'd actually never heard of this arepa before. So it's a flat cake made of ground corn. It's popular in Colombia, but it really represents a lot of different um, cultures and dishes. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so I thought that was a cute book. I just think it has a good message of, you know, um, problem solving, right? Of, of not giving up on the things that you want and, and working through them, but also um, compromising with other people, right? He didn't have to be the only truck there, but letting other people in. So your CPR share today is actually going to be um, kind of about this, just about like what kind of food you like to eat or what culture of food you like to eat when you go out to a different restaurant. Um, so have a wonderful Thursday and I will talk to you guys soon.